Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where I talk about things that happened this week in, in anime history. <laughs> Starting out with April 7th, 1979, the premiere of the original Ooh. Mobile Suit Gundam wow. anime series. Um, it's a Gundam. <laughs> wow. Hugely influential. Uh, the inventor of the real robot uh, subgenre of mecha anime. Uh, and arguably the first anime series that felt like a um, single cohesive story written all the way through. Um, Yamato might claim that as well, um, but I think Gundam just holds together a little <clears throat> bit more cohesively than, than Yamato does. Um, and there's just a lot to Gundam. The characters are very uh, detailed. Um, uh, it's uh, it, it was innovative. Uh, you know, in, a, in a lot of ways, and really pushed things forward and spawned an absurdly massive franchise. Um, and the merch. Just, yeah, and the merch. All the merch. Hundreds uh, of millions of merch. Jeez. Uh, that thing just does not stop. Which has now spawned a recycling effort. Exactly. <laughs> Which you can now recycle, and so everything comes around. It, it works perfectly. Make more merch. Yeah, make more <laughs> merch. Um, and then, fast forward a few years, um, this was also the week that Attack on Titan premiered in Japan. Oh, April 7, 2013, okay. um, almost well, eight years ago now, uh, Attack on wow. Titan premiered in Japan. Um, uh, I was actually in Japan around the time of Attack on Titan coming out, um, and uh, boy, were they pushing that hard. Uh, you walked into Gamers, and they had full-size posters like hanging on the walls advertising it. Um, and I knew it was that because, like, on the posters in Akihabara, they had, in English, Attack on Titan on wow. the official Japanese posters. So there would be no confusion for anyone watching this that this thing was was coming out. You all should watch it. And, and I got in, like, three episodes, and then I was like... Mm -hmm. Oh, same here. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, not for me, but that's, that's yeah. fine. Uh, did they have any pop-up cafes for Attack on oh, Titan? I'm sure they did. <laughs> I'm sure they were I, I, rife with them. No, no, uh, no question. Um, uh, if Ginger is still in the chat, I'm wondering if she if she's aware of any uh, uh, any pop-up uh, uh, cafes. Uh, and then finally, must be mentioned, um, um, sad but worth mentioning. Uh, it's also the anniversary of the passing of Isao Takahata. Uh, legendary anime director of Grave of the Fireflies, Tale of Princess Kaguya, my name is the Amadas Pompoko, um, Horseman of the Sun, uh, and many, many other great uh, uh, works of anime um, passed away uh, three years ago now um, and is greatly missed. 